Hey y'all, I'm Chris. Thanks for watching my video and I'm gonna be talking about mostly tech stuff, software engineering, networking, and kind of other geeky things um, in my channel and anything you request about. So networking wise I kind of mostly work with Ubiquity stuff and today is kind of the first part of my new home network. We just moved to a new house um, and whilst everything's pre-wired we have sockets in every wall uh, they don't put sockets in the ceiling, so actually um, we are going to be installing these uh, AC in more pros from Unify, uh, Ubiquity. And because, you know, I'm going to the max here, uh, we're putting a 5 in. And that should be more than enough, but, you know, I like to make sure we cover everything. So the ha my house is about 20, no, a bit, about 29,000 square 2900 20, <laughs> square foot, not 29,000, that'd be crazy. Um, so five should be more than enough, but you know, we're gonna do some testing and we'll do a, a layout it in the Ubiquity controller and we'll, we'll, we'll do some tests now. There'll be, I'll try and keep these videos pretty short so you can just follow along the series. So first I'm just gonna do an unboxing of these things and then I'm gonna show you do an install on one of the points. Um, so I bought five pack here. These are the AC Pros. So these are these are three times aerials, and they they think their max throughput is theoretically twelve hundred megabits a second on um, five gigahertz. Now in reality that won't happen because it never does. But here is one of the units. It's uh, fairly sizable. It's a little bit bigger than a US socket. The US sockets I think is these two holes here. Um, so if you're installing this in the UK, it's probably going to look a little bit too tall, but out here in the States, um, it's about the right size. So, very nice unit. Uh, should look pretty good on the wall. Um, I actually have, I have some other hardware. One of them I can't talk about until it's released. And the other one I've got a 48 port, uh, uh, 48 port level two PoE switch. Uh, and the reason I bought the 48 port is because I wanted the 10 gigabit ups, uplink to my router, to my USG. So I'm just going to quickly open this up. I apologize about the handheld camera. My tripod has not arrived yet. And I want to start installing these. And the tripod cannot wait. Uh, cool. So that's the unit. There's a bag there. This is the back plate. So this is a thing that will attach to the wall. Uh, you got a separate case in the front there. And you got a separate unit. So this is the actual unit. That's got all the, the good bits in it, the aerials, and what's quite cool about these is that on your wall plate you plug into the back of this, your PoE in, and your data, and on the bottom you actually get two outputs. One of these is PoE out, and the other one's just data. So it's cool if you're if you got offices or your home office or you know next to your TV or in your, in your bedroom, and you want a PoE phone, you put one of these on the wall. This is powered by PoE, then you have a your VoIP phone or out of it and you can power that off it as well and and also you get another data switch these act like little switches so it's quite cool if you only have one cable rent to place and you actually need multiple points without and you just you don't want to um, you know put a switch off at a terminal point or external part of your network um, cool so I'm gonna go through actually installing these on the wall a little bit later uh, everything comes with what it needs so you've got your mountain bracket there designed for most of the world, uh, you know, UK sockets go there, US sockets go here, uh, this mounts on here, and then this goes in the front. All very neat. Right, see you in the next video of actually installing one of these into the wall. Chisel, bye.